Hi everyone. Well, in this video we're going to cover how to set your tabs for a table of contents. And there's two tabs we're going to set. One is, let's say you have a subheading that needs to be indented a little bit. Uh, we're going to set that tab. We're also going to set a tab for the end where you want the numbers to appear and so the dots appear between your heading and then the page number. So to do that, if you look over on the left, you see this little box? This is where you get a, a type of tab. Right now it says it's a right tab. Now I can click that and it'll take me through to different types of tabs. Um, let's go through until I find the left tab. There it is. So that's the left tab. And then I'll come over to my ruler. Now for a subheading, I'll put it right here. So at the bottom of my ruler I'm going to click and then the symbol appears. So that's the left tab for a subheading. Now for the page numbers we're going to do a right tab. So I have to find the symbol for it. It's right there and if I hover over it it'll eventually say oh right tab. So now we're set to right tab. So I'm going to go out to five inches and I'm going to click where that tab should be. Now we have the right tab set but we don't have those dots as a leader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the right tab and it will get us into the tabs uh, page. And Actually I clicked wrong. Let me try that again. I'm clicking on the tab, double clicking. So there's our tabs dialog box. I'm going to click on the one that says 5 inches because that's the one I want to modify and change the leader to get the dots to 2. And then I'll click set which changes that and then I'll click OK. So now that we've got our tab set, I can type my headings. Oh, and I'm in a bold setting and I don't want it to be bold, so I'm going to get rid of the bold. And now I'm going to press tab and there my dots appear. Now this is going to be on, let's see, I, I, I. We'll go to the next section, uh, which will be our introduction. And that's going to be on page one. And next, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show that subheading. So let's say we have our um, revenues. And I wanted this to be a subheading, so I'm going to press the tab key. Do you see how it indented? And I can press tab again and put my page number. So that's how that's going to work for you to set up those tabs. Hope this helps. Thanks.